Talio dear champs and how you going? Today I'll be reviewing QNAP's TS451 Plus Network Attached Storage. It's a high performance Intel quad core NAS supporting HDMI, transcoding and virtualization for homes and businesses. So let's crack on and get on to the review. So the TS451 Plus supports JBOD, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6 and RAID 10. So you're well covered there. It's hot swappable. So it has a quad core Intel Serilon 2.0 GHz that can burst up to 2.4 GHz CPU. So it's a 64 bit CPU. So it can support more than 4 gigs RAM. Comes with Intel HD graphics, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and it's upgradable to 8 gigabytes RAM. Has 512 megabytes flash storage. You can fit four hard drives in here, two and a half or three and a half inches. Its dimensions come in at 177 by 180 by 235 millimeters. It weighs three kilos or 6.61 pounds. And that's without the hard drives, of course. Its power consumption in sleep mode is, is 0.57 watts. In hard drive standby mode, it's 15.78 watts. And in operation, its typical watt usage is 33.8 watts. So this is QNAP's cost-effective 4-bay NAS. It's great if you want to use a device for a full HD Plex server or media server. It's great for backing up all your files, syncing all your computers, time machine. And it's great for small businesses as well because it's a cost-effective solution. It's around 350 quid, around $469 US or $680 Australian. It's pretty good for a 4-bay NAS. It has a lot of features. And the only thing it really misses out on compared to the higher-end model QNAPs is it hasn't got 4K transcoding. So if that's really important to you, well, it's not the NAS for you, but it does full HD transcoding with Plex and so on. And the higher-end model has a few more ports and it has an LCD screen. So that's about all you'll miss compared to the higher end model. Now, let's go through the port. So you have your LED indicator lights here. You have your power button. You have your one touch copy button, which you could stick a USB device in there, touch that and it'll copy it onto your NAS. You have a USB 3.0. You have the four drive bays, of course. Turn it around and you have the big fan there, which is actually quite quiet. Kensington lock, full HDMI port, two one gigabit Ethernet ports, two USB 2 ports, another USB 3 port, and then you have the power port there. And up here you have the reset hole. Overall, it's metal and plastic. It is not the most beautiful NAS I've seen, but it's certainly not ugly. It has a utilitarian look. And this part here is plastic and this is metal and the drive bays are plastic. On the drive bays, they're not toolless. That's another thing you get on the higher end models. You get the toolless ones. You'll have to use the screws to put the hard drives in here. Some of the features are it runs on QTS 4.2 operating system, which, which I can tell you is pretty simple and efficient. As I said, it's great for using as a file storage, sharing, backup, and it has excellent performance. I'll get to that later. You can run multiple operating systems on this. So you can run Unix, Android, Linux, stuff like this through virtualization on the virtualization station. Operate multiple isolated Linux systems as well as download containerized apps with container station. You can play 1080p videos with the bundled remote and multi-channel audio pass-through via HDMI. And this is the remote here. So you can actually just plug this into your TV via the HDMI and use this remote. It's a really cool feature and something you don't expect from NASA's, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You can transcode full HD on the fly. So you can use it as a Plex server. It's great for DLNA, AirPlay, Chromecast, and Bluetooth with a multi-zone multimedia control. It has QNAP's QSearch, which is like Spotlight. It's actually a really good search utility. So you'll be able to find your content very easily. It's scalable 
to up to 12 drive bays with the UX 800P expansion enclosure. So once you've filled up these four drives, you can buy that expansion unit and you can go up to 12 drives, which is a great feature. So on the back here, if you link aggregate these two gigabit ethernet ports with four hard drives, you're able to get around 225 megabytes per second read and write. Supports AES 256-bit volume and folder encryption with transfer speeds around 204 megabytes per second, they claim. It has great security built in and you don't take much of a hit in the performance stake when you enable encryption. So that's pretty good. You also can use this as a standalone PC. So you can plug a keyboard and mouse into it. You can plug this into your monitor HDMI and you can use it as a PC. And that's a great feature and it's unique to QNAP. So it runs on QTS 4.2, which I can say, I'm not a NAS novice anymore, but I can say it's fairly intuitive and easy to use. It's a modern looking UI, it's flat. It's a bit like say Windows. It has that flat design language. It has an intelligent desktop that allows you to quickly find desired functions, create desktop shortcuts or, or group shortcuts, monitor important system information on a real-time basis and open multiple application windows and run multiple tasks concurrently, bringing greater operating efficiency. So it has advanced features like volume and LUN snapshot, remote connection to public cloud services in file station, multi-zone multimedia system, and it's got a lot more. So it has all your VPN functions, FTP. It can sync with all your cloud services like Dropbox, Google Drive, SkyDrive, and it also has surveillance station. As I said, QTS 4.2 is very easy to use. You can install all these apps. You can install stuff like Docker, and I could actually go on for an hour about all the features in it. So it's easy to use for a novice, but if you want all the advanced features, this has got you covered in that department. It really has bucket loads of advanced features. And some of them you'll really need to be a network expert to know what they are. So my overall conclusion is, is the QNAP TS451 Plus is a great value mid-tier 4 bay NAS. It's right in the sweet spot of pricing. It's great for the home user or small business. It's well built reliable and easy to use it's loaded with features that even the most advanced user will appreciate and i definitely have no problems recommending this product so there you have it guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up that'll help me out and and until next time tally ho